Hi 403, it's uh, Gord here. Um, before I get to actually covering my summative activity, I just want to uh, just want to say thank you to everybody in the class for imparting your wisdom um, on the, the discussion boards and the class wiki. Um, I'll be using a lot of that stuff in my own teaching practice. I want to throw a big warm fuzzy out to Chris as well for being an amazing uh, online instructor. Uh, he was always really, really prompt in responding to anything I had to ask him, and um, he had lots of wisdom to impart of his own, and I want to thank him for that. Yeah, so so I chose um, the TV video production unit since I'm probably more familiar with Adobe Premiere than I am with anything else right now, um, and I was originally planning on using the activity that I worked in Module 3 as my summative activity, um, but at the last minute I kind of decided to make a change. Um, decided that it, it didn't have didn't cover quite enough curriculum points, so um, I don't actually have an exemplar for you guys just because I made that last minute change. But I do have on the class wiki a step by step um, detailed description of how you would execute it, and I also have the uh, the assignment as it would as you could post it on your class website as well as the rubric. Um, so the activity that I chose is called. Uh, the Comtech Career Cruiser, and it is basically um, it's basically a 10 to 15 minute documentary that students will be required to create that is based on jobs in the Comtech sector. And um, so to do this, students they ideally will be working in groups of three, uh, and they'll need to plan out using storyboarding exactly what they want the documentary to look like. Um, and one of the main features of this documentary is going to be an interview with a ComTech professional. Um, and so this ComTech professional could be anybody um, that, it could be a family member, it could be uh, a relative, it could be a friend, it could be somebody that's found, um, sort of sought out by looking through the, the list of available jobs in your community that we worked on in uh, Module 4. Um, so the nice thing about this activity is that students, they'll get to do a little bit of everything um, that's, that's included in the TV video production unit. So that includes uh, storyboarding, um, importing video audio, working with video audio layers, audio mixing, working with still photos, and that includes resizing, positioning, scaling, zoom, opacity, um, video transitions, creating title layers, uh, positioning, opacity, and scaling again, screen cutouts, uh, chroma key and green key side effects, um, adjusting video audio speed, credit rolling, and also exporting different video types. Um, so I, I, the idea is uh, if, if, they're, if they're preparing a documentary, we want it to look professional. So um, the, ideally they would have a news anchor they would have a, a background that's sort of um, created with by the use of shooting the the, uh, the anchor on a green screen, and then that student can overlay any kind of background that they'd like, um, and sort of over the top uh, right portion of the shoulder or right portion of the shoulder, uh, you have a little icon that's sort of uh, another image with a transparent background that will sort of uh, complement what the student is saying. Um, the, just the way you would if you were watching a newscast. Um, so I've set a full week aside for students to do this uh, project because it is quite a large one, I, I believe. Um, and because of the interview aspect of this, this project, um, teachers are going to have to prepare the students well ahead of time um, to get their interview done and to get their interview scheduled. Um, all right, a few planning notes. Uh, to execute this this activity, uh, students are going to be expected to have uh, a quick interview with the teacher at the end of the first uh, day. Uh, again, I have five days set aside. The end of the first day would be sort of right after the uh, the brainstorming with the group, and then the uh, already the beginning of the storyboarding. So just to make sure everyone's on the right track, there's going to be a quick exit interview. Um, after that, um, teacher's going to have to make sure that there's lots and lots of computers available that, are, that is loaded with 
Adobe Premiere. Um, lots of cameras are going to have to be available, and that includes uh, cameras in the classroom as well as cameras to use for the interview. Um, also, miking is important for the interview, so that's something that they will have learned, and uh, they may need an external mic for their for their cameras. Um, and I guess finally, for planning notes, I think that it would be wise to to keep the to keep the uh, the due date for this activity fairly flexible, because there is um, there's interviews that need to take place, and those have to kind of be scheduled. There is uh, the, the student group interview as well as the professional interview and then there's the green room scheduling so all that put together get fitting it in one one week and then setting a hard deadline on a Friday is probably not not going to work for everybody um, okay expectations in terms of expectations um, this is one of the main reasons why I switched to this activity was just because it pulls in um, the section D expectations which is the professional practice and career opportunities. So the activity hits virtually all of the points in section uh, D2, um, identify career opportunities, demonstrate the essential skills that are important for successful ComTech, uh, develop pieces of work to demonstrate ComTech skills, etc., etc., etc. It also hits uh, section C a little bit, which is technology, the environment, and society, um, because students will be identifying some emerging technologies as they're working their documentary and trying to uh, trying to sort of sort out what it's all about and how uh, prevalent jobs are in that that sector um, and of course it's going to hit many many points on uh, parts A and C which is the fundamentals and the skills sections um, as they go through all the stuff that you can do with Adobe Premiere uh, accommodations for this assignment um, this assignment uh, is going to is going to be a fairly flexible assignment. Um, so obviously, it's going to be completely open book. Students will be able to use the internet um, to look for tutorials on how to do stuff in Premiere. Um, they'll be able to use their, any of their notes, any of their past programs. Um, so they, they they won't be they won't just sit there and be stuck. Um, again, the due date should be fairly flexible for this um, for this activity. Um, the, because because so much stuff has to be scheduled, the green room, the uh, the teacher group interview, and the uh, the professional interview. Um, and again, it, because it's group work, it's going to allow students within the group to work to their strengths. So they will have the ability to decide amongst themselves what they are best at, and uh, hopefully everybody can find something that they're comfortable doing. And it also sort of spreads out the work and, and makes the whole project feel less overwhelming. And uh, so that's about all I have to say for the activity. There's lots more details on the website. And um, again, thanks, thanks for a, a great course. And uh, everyone take care. This is Gord signing out.